Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today I'm going to cover two separate topics. First of all, Chain Fusion Summer, and I'm going to provide my objective and honest opinion about that. Was Chain Fusion Summer a fail, or there is still a chance for a big revamp of DeFi on ICP? The second topic is, of course, the price of ICP, and we have seen a capitulation of the price in the last few months. Next week, we have another token unlock on the 11th of July. Can this be possibly pushing ICP to lower lows? So we are going to take a look at the chart and at various metrics to understand what could potentially be going on in the next few weeks or in the next month. So stay tuned for that. And as always, I'm going to base my analysis on data, charts, metrics, and indicators. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, before we start, I want to provide a sneak peek regarding tomorrow's video and I'm going to provide my opinion on this whole thread on the Definity forum. In fact, there is a comment about Dominic Williams, a long comment and many, actually many comments of him regarding Utopia and the initial question which was, have we been racked? serious question regarding utopia so uh, of course this is also a question regarding uh, the burn cycles and all of that so in next video i'm going to go through all these comments here and i'm going to provide my opinion and we are going to go through that so stay tuned for that now regarding chain fusion summer for internet computer very important to understand that now we have multiple pairs that are supported, which is very positive. The one that I want to emphasize here and focus on is Chainky USDC. And I was mentioning for months before this was launched that this is extremely important for the whole ecosystem because it will bring liquidity. Only with liquidity we can revamp the DeFi on the internet computer. How is that possible? Of course, with some applications. So, question is, why would you park your USDC on the chain? Why would you do that? Because you can get some yield, because there are ways for you to use this USDC or to spend it or to invest it, right? So, in order to see really chain QSDC do well, we need to have those applications on chain. Without that, having a chain QSDC pair, it's still good, but we cannot expect too much liquidity. And I did mention as well in the previous videos, without at least $100 million in chain QSDC, we cannot discuss about the serious revamp of DeFi on the Internet Computer Protocol. And this is my honest and objective opinion if we compare other stable coins on chain for other projects. And I will once again compare this with a project that failed in the past, but that had a lot of hype and traction regarding its stable coin, which is Terra Luna. So why US, UST? the algorithmic stablecoin that, by the way, failed after that, but this is now irrelevant for this video. What they were doing well, why they managed to attract $18 billion in stablecoins in liquidity on their chain is because they had applications for investors to use this liquidity to earn yield, for example, Anchor Protocol, or simply to use this USD to participate in various launches of projects on Terra Luna. So there were huge incentives to deposit liquidity on chain. Now, Chainq USDC is not an algorithmic stable coin. Chainq USDC is backed one to one to real USDC. So that's not an issue here. The issue is that we need to add applications on chain for investors, being that retail investors or institutional investors 
to use this liquidity and to potentially earn yield. This is the only way, in my personal opinion, to revamp DeFi on ICP. Okay, let's now take a look at other uh, pairs that we have here. So, Chinky Bitcoin. Chinky Bitcoin, uh, 274 Bitcoin in supply at the moment. That's not bad at all. That's worth around, I believe, 16, mil uh, 16 million dollars or so. So, not bad. Not bad at all. However, in my opinion, should be higher at least 1,000 uh, Chinky Bitcoin. But once again, uh, question is, why would you deposit Chinky Bitcoin? Well, of course, because Chinky Bitcoin solves the problems of Bitcoin. So, what are the main issues of Bitcoin? Transaction costs that are quite high and low time to finality, that is uh, high, high time to finality, which is very high on the Bitcoin network. So, now, even through open chat for example you can just transfer uh, from one wallet to another chinky bitcoin in a matter of a second so that's why we have more chinky bitcoin and not so much liquidity in chinky usdc so there is a use case for that okay and that's very positive however more people need to deposit we need to have more tra even more transactions and this is how we are going to revamp DeFi on chain however chinky bitcoin is a good indication of what we are doing here because it has use cases this solves a problem and already we then see more liquidity parked on chain okay so uh, same principle with a chinky ethereum so uh, you can see for chinky bitcoin that the supply was at an all-time high for chinky ethereum it's not the same we had a huge peak then a huge drop and then slowly we started to build ourselves up since january and the supply is increasing over time which is fairly positive of course i want to see a much much higher supply of chinky ethereum as well on chain here however what about the other pairs that we have chinky link only 800 chain link here so that's basically nothing then we have uh, of course um, chinky pepe as a new pair that uh, we have added here however also not much going on of course these are new pairs and it's once again nice to add multiple pairs to have a wide ecosystem with a lot of variety that's that's great but we need to find use cases so that's my message here i believe that uh, chinky um, bitcoin chinky ethereum these are great ideas overall and i believe that chain fusion is not a fail as a concept on its own however in terms of volume in terms of supply here in terms of transactions for now this has not picked up yet i want to see more volume more transactions and much higher supplies on chain to even start discussing about some sort of revamp of the DeFi on chain and that's my honest and objective opinion okay now second question uh, that i spoke about at the beginning of the video what about the selling pressure for icp what about the price what about the catalysts what about um, seed investors selling pressure and so on and so forth first of all as always i want to start with the bitcoin dominance because this is really extremely important to understand trends in the market and to compare last cycles as well because still the four year theory for the cycle is still in place after many many cycles and of course also the bitcoin dominance theory is still in place and it still worked out every cycle so let's take a look at what happened here in 2018 we had a huge low for the bitcoin dominance at 36.77 percent after that we had of course a huge increase in the bitcoin dominance however let's take a look when did this happen did this low happened in june uh, in um um in january i'm sorry of 2018 after that we have seen a huge huge increase in the bitcoin dominance that has stopped at um 71.61% 
However, uh, this happened in the pre-halving year, okay? However, this was a moment in which many people thought, okay, that's the top for the Bitcoin dominance. That's it. However, the Bitcoin dominance uh, really did something that it did not do this cycle yet, a low and another high, which did shake out a lot of people. A lot of people did believe here, hey, this is the altcoin season, for sure. Look at how it's dropping. And then they saw another high that shaked away many, many retail investors. When did this high happen? December, between December, end of December of the halving year and January of the post halving year. Based on this assumption, I still believe that another high is possible for the Bitcoin dominance at the beginning of this year. This would still be in line with what we have seen in the last cycle. And this would still be in line with my prediction that we can reach between 58 and 60 percent on the Bitcoin dominance this cycle. It's not unlikely it's possible. On um, shorter time frames, I'm tracking this triangle here, and I'm tracking a potential descending triangle for the Bitcoin dominance in here, which is something that I did show you already for months here on this channel. So, uh, of course, this is the weekly chart. If I go back at the daily chart and I hope the system will not crash, which probably it will. So I will just move on to the next chart. However, I want to mention here, guys, that this could still be in place and this could still play out as it played out in the last cycle. What about ICP against Bitcoin? Very important also to understand that we are again in an accumulation zone here, which we have seen in September and October of last year. Therefore, ICP has performed fairly poorly against Bitcoin, like most of the top 25 altcoins in the crypto space have performed also poorly against Bitcoin. And this is why I constantly have mentioned, guys, we have not seen any kind of altcoin, not even a mini altcoin season in March. We have not seen any type of mega move from the total tree nothing is happening yet we can take a look at the total tree still we had a major move since the lows of course we had however this is not an old queen season yet market cap for the total tree still sitting at around 600 billion dollars nowhere near close this high at 1.05 billion dollars or uh, rather trillion dollars, I'm sorry. So um, nowhere near the high. And my prediction still is that due to the excess liquidity that we have in this cycle, $2 trillion at least this cycle. This is my prediction based on data, based on the excess liquidity, based on the Bitcoin dominance at the moment, based on monetary policy, based on various, various metrics. I would not be surprised to see the total tree at $3 trillion this cycle. Would not be surprised at all. Possible. Okay. However, for now, until the Bitcoin dominance start dropping to the downside, it's still possible to retest this level at around $520 billion. Still possible. Okay. Now, uh, let's discuss about ICP and the potential catalysts. So this is how the ICP chart looks on very uh, on very short time frames, and we have seen in the last couple of weeks this range, paradise for trader daily traders, and now we are testing this range with this candle here. If we break down both swing lows and we drop significantly under $7.5, this simply means that this range now is broken, we lose support, this turns into resistance, and that we need to find some kind of other area of support and the downtrend will continue. I did mention in last videos, the trend is your friend until the end, the friend, the, 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 friend, the trend is to the downside at the moment, so it's not your friend. 
and uh, we can potentially reach this next Fibonacci retracement level that is currently sitting at $6.7, $6.87 dollars more or less. And uh, this is the last line of defense for the bulls. So if ICP does not hold that, if ICP cannot reverse around this level here or cannot hold this level, for example, at the moment and drops below $6.7, this is an indication that the bullish scenario that I have on the chart will be heavily, heavily challenged and becomes less likely. Okay, and this is once again something that I have been mentioning for months already. I will be accumulating under $9.7 because there is a good potential setup for that and the setup is potentially getting invalidated under $6.7. So that's the invalidation point for this whole scenario. Of course, this does not mean that the scenario still cannot play out if it drop lower. However, the likelihood becomes much, much less likely. Again, in my opinion, matter of fact, based on Fibonacci retracement levels that I follow here because they are heavily respected, which I did show in previous videos, the 50% retracement, how well it was respected, the 618 retracement level, which we had a huge intraday bounce there. Of course, these are respected levels. Traders are placing their buy orders there. Therefore, I believe if we reach this level here at $6.7, I believe still there will be a bounce there. However, if the trend is still down, if there is still negative momentum, this will continue. What about token unlocks? So at the moment, we have uh, still token unlocks for ICP. Next is uh, next week. And of course, this can create potential short-term selling pressure for ICP. Keep in mind that this unlock is different compared to the previous ones because there will be less tokens that will be distributed. Still, some tokens will be distributed and whales have a huge massive incentive to sell because of their cost basis that is extremely low. I want to mention that at the moment, 80% of the tokens of seed investors are unlocked. All the other participants that participated in initial funding rounds are fully vested and those tokens are unlocked as well, which simply means that most likely many, many of those investors already sold. So we are reaching the end of this distribution cycle of tokens. So all these people that are panicking now, the, the ship has sailed a long time ago. The ship has sailed in 2021, guys. Now we are approaching the end of the selling pressure. In June of next year, there will be no selling pressure anymore. All initial participants are fully vested. As always, uh, I mentioned um, I, I'm not trading any kind of falling knife here. I have Fibonacci retracement levels. I have my buy order sitting at these levels. The $6.7 is my last huge buy order here. If this gets invalidated, then I need to take a look at the structure once again. I have to reevaluate the structure and we will need to wait for some kind of reversal for ICP. And that's it. And that's how I'm going to play this game. Okie dokie, guys. So tomorrow, stay tuned. Big, big video is coming up regarding Utopia, regarding the burning cycles, regarding the capabilities, regarding marketing efforts. Dominic Williams did mention a lot of interesting information that I'm going to analyze. So stay tuned for that. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.